my goodness. Okay, so it's been a long time since I uploaded the first episode of Best Android Setups and on every other video that I've uploaded from then until now, I've gotten tons and tons of comments of people just saying, oh my gosh, where's episode two? Where's episode two? We need episode two. So here it is. And I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this. It's been a long time. So I'm going to stop talking, cue the intro, and let's get into the setups. <laughs> Before I get started with the video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Justin Icabellas for that awesome intro animation. You can check out his channel down below in the description. So uh, yeah, thank you Justin for that intro. Okay, so episode number two, we're looking at creative setups. So setups that you don't normally see every day. And the first setup comes to us from Kelly. All right, so Kelly is actually running this setup on her Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. That's why it's all landscape like this. So it is a tablet setup. So she is running the stock TouchWiz launcher here. The icon pack that she is using is the Coastal Images 10T Red. Never heard of that one before, but it'll be in a link in the description. And this wallpaper is from Wallpaper Abyss, which will also be in a link in the description. And last but not least, that widget that she is using is a KWGT widget, and it's a self-made widget, so props for that. All right, so I really like this setup mainly because of the colorway. It's a black and red colorway. I'm a big fan of that. And I just like the placement of everything. So we're starting out with the icons down there. It's a very unique icon pack, uh, but it is uh, nonetheless very nice. And taking a look at the widgets here, we have the battery widget at the upper right hand corner, which looks really cool. It's just chilling up there. Um, and then we have the weather widget on the left hand side. You've got all the information that you need And I like how it says 11 hours and 57 minutes of darkness, which is pretty interesting uh, You've got the humidity the wind and you got pressure as well um, And then you have the time up top, which is really nice and then the wallpaper works really well with this setup I just think that everything here works so well together and this is a setup that I've never really seen before It's not the general, you know icons at the bottom widget at the top and then just some sort of minimalistic wallpaper I think everything here works very very well well um, and yeah it's just a really nice setup uh, so props uh, to you what is your name again Kelly for this setup again I'll link as much information uh, down below in the description as far as the wallpaper and the icon packs and everything so you guys can test this out on your devices so thank you Kelly for submitting your setup all right so our next setup comes to us from Tate and Tate says hey Zach this is my entry for your next best Android setups video congratulations you made it I uh, hope you like it I'm a big fan thanks for watching and I think your videos look great by the way thank Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So Tate uh, comes at us with a Nova, Nova, Nova Launcher Prime setup running on uh, the Galaxy Note 5. The launcher grid here is 9 by 5. The icon pack here is the Marshmallow icon pack. The wallpaper here is from Minimal Wallpapers. Should be able to find that on the Google Play Store. Off to the left hand side there we have a dash clock widget uh, looking really nice and clean. And on this right screen we have a month calendar widget and a Google Now widget underneath that. And and heading back to the first screenshot, that weather widget at the upper right hand corner is actually pre-installed in the Node 5. We also have a screenshot of the lock screen and Tate is using the next lock screen by Microsoft, which is actually an, an underrated lock screen application in my opinion. So what I really like about the setup is mainly the icon placement. I do like how you have the two rows of icons going at an angle and then at another angle. It's just really creative. I do like that. Um, and the widget placement is nice as well. One thing that I would change, just me, I would change about the setup is the app drawer icon. I would probably change that to something else to kind of match the rest of the icons. Um, but if you'd like it to stand out, then that's cool. Um, other than that, the setup is really nice. I do like the selection of wallpaper here as well. Um, it's very unique. And then over here, you just got your widget, uh, your widgets, I should say, uh, just very minimal, plain. And I do like how you have the app drawer on the second uh, page as well. I just noticed that, and I think that's a nice touch so that you can access it on both screens. Uh, but other than that, it's a very simple setup. You took away the app icon uh, labels, which is cool. Uh, just makes it even uh, cleaner. So other than that, it's a really nice setup. And I just like the creativity and the thought that went into this setup. So good job, Tate, on your setup. All right, so our next setup comes to us from Abjit. We're looking at Nova Launcher Prime with a launcher grid of 11 by 11. It's quite large. Uh, the Zuper widget that we're looking at here is from Unity Widget 3. The main icon pack here is the Min icon pack and the app drawer is from the Wicons icon pack. If you're looking for this dope wallpaper, it'll be down below in the description as well. And all of this is being run on the OnePlus 2. Now, Object did not mention this in the email, but in this screenshot right here, uh, there appears to be a Google IO type uh, clock widget right there. I did feature that in one of my videos 
it looks really really nice in this setup so I'm definitely a fan of that you will also notice that the status bar is hidden uh, just to give that much more space to the setup which is really cool uh, the main thing that I really like about this setup number one the colorway black and white gray and white whichever one um, it looks really nice and clean the main thing that I like about this is the placement of it because it is based off the wallpaper as you can see you've got like a Nexus 7 right there in the middle and then everything uh, from the icons in this screenshot right here is kind of within that little Nexus 7 vector right there. So it looks really, really cool. I do like that. Not too sure what that Transformers icon up there is. Maybe it's the game. Maybe it's for a folder, whatever it is. It's just chilling up there and it looks really cool. Um, you've just got your uh, main applications down there at the bottom. And overall, this is really uh, featuring the wallpaper itself. And I just think it looks awesome. And the great thing about this is Abjit decided to include the wallpaper. So if you want to get your hands on this wallpaper, it will be down below in the description. So make sure you check that out. I think this is a really cool uh, wallpaper, especially if you like Nexus devices. So definitely check this out, but really awesome setup, but it's very creative at the same time. Uh, so great job Abjit on this setup. All right, so our next setup comes to us from Anand. Uh, we are looking at Nova Launcher Prime with a grid size of eight by six. He is not using a specific icon pack. However, the phone contact messages and chrome at the bottom there those are all custom made icons uh, by himself so that is really cool so props for that we do have a few super widgets here uh, that little Monday widget right there right above that mouse is uh, a super widget along with the ones running along the right hand side some of those he did state are edited by him uh, so that is really cool now this is another one of those setups that you can obviously tell is built around the wallpaper this is a very this is kind of a crazy wallpaper here but it's nice at the same time um, it's just a little busy for me, but it just looks cool. It's pretty much somebody's desk setup. Um, props if it's yours, uh, but um, if it's not, uh, nonetheless, it is still a very nice, nice wallpaper. And I do like how you've built everything around the wallpaper, kind of like the previous setup. So there really isn't much to say about the setup other than the fact that it's really nice and clean, very creative. I do uh, like the choice in wallpapers. It's very, very interesting, uh, but you're thinking outside of the box here and it's just really, really nice. I do like that. I also did forget to state that this is running on the Lenovo K4 Note. So that's a rare phone nowadays. Uh, but if you guys want to get your hands on this wallpaper again it will be down below in the description other than that very interesting setup but i do like it so good job on this setup all right so our next setup comes to us from aaron aaron is using nova launcher prime uh, the icon pack here is the candy cons icon pack which is one of my personal favorites we've got a simple text widget right underneath that battery clock uccw skin man it's been a while since i've ever seen a uccw skin but props to you for using that and the wallpaper he states uh, found it on twitter uh, so unfortunately we do not have a link for that and all of this is being run on his lg g3 so we only have one screenshot here but that's pretty much all we need and apparently that's all he needed for this setup number one i noticed that the status bar is hidden so that's cool there's no real sign of an app drawer um, you're probably using a gesture swipe up uh, is my guess that's pretty much what i do we have the older style google search widget at the top which is pretty cool pretty cool what the heck was that so i do really like the selection of a blurred wallpaper it just gives more of a focus on the icons and the widgets i do like the selection of candy cons again that's one of my favorites it's one of my go-to's so uh thumbs up for that the creativity factor here is for real i do like the icon placement it's just too cool you took off the icon labels makes it that's that much more minimalistic so i do like that uh, but yeah it's a very creative setup here and apparently it works for you so a uh, thumbs up for that as well and the Google search bar up there is one of the older style ones, but uh, I do like that. So uh, hats off to the older versions of the Google search bar. Uh, but other than that, it's very simple. This is your only screenshot that you sent in. So uh, it's really, really nice. I do like that. And the widgets in the middle are cool as well. And uh, you did state that this is your name right here. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It makes it more of your setup. This is like your setup. You put your stamp, your seal on this setup. So this is yours. It's unique to you and it works really, really well. So very simple setup, but uh, very creative at the same time. So very good job on your setup. I'm a fan. All right, so our next setup comes to us from Osmond and Osmond says, I am a left-handed person and this setup has made it very easy for me to operate my device. So thank you for uh, stating that because this is a very cool setup and we'll get to it in a sec, here we go. All right, so we are looking at Nova Launcher Prime with a grid of 12 by eight. We've got a super widget up top and the skin that we are looking at is the OSHA skin. The icon pack is the Aragon icon pack. The wallpaper here is from Zedge and all of this is being run on the Galaxy Note. Five. All right, so Osman, if you're watching this, 
I love how you wrote the email. The email here is very organized, very easy for me to read, and you included some additional information. Let's get to said additional information right here. So he says he's got a one screen setup here. So very simple. Um, he uses swipe up gestures to get to uh, the app drawer and uh, probably swipe down to get to his notifications. So that is awesome. In his app drawer, he's got all of his applications organized in tabs. Props to you for that because I do the same thing. He says that he is not using a dock here, as you can probably tell yourself. I am a fan of setups with no dock. I think it just opens up for more creativity. And he states that he is using the Chinese Touch Wiz theme. And he also says, keeping my fingers crossed to see my screen on one of your videos. Well, you can uncross your fingers because congratulations, you are now in the video. Uh, so taking a closer look at the setup here, uh, you've got all of the icons off to the left. As he did state, he is a left-handed user. So that is pretty cool. Excuse the voice crack. All right, so what I really want to point out about the setup is the leopard. That leopard staring at those icons looks really, really cool. It's kind of set aside from those icons. Again, uh, we're looking at a left-handed user here. So the icons are all off to the left here. Uh, the colorway of the icons is very interesting. Uh, especially pointing out the Instagram and Snapchat icons. They look a little interesting, especially the Snapchat one. Um, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, over there on the right hand side, if you're wondering what that 81% is, that is actually a McAfee Life Safe shortcut uh, to where you can kind of scan your phone and clean it out and all that stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I do like how everything is laid out. It's perfect for your left handedness. Um, and taking a look at the app drawer here, you can tell that we've got all of this organization. It looks really cool. So you've got your tools, office, social, games, web. Everything is very nicely organized. I'm a big fan of organization uh, when it comes to setups. Uh, so yeah, other than that, it's a very nice setup. It works very well with this wallpaper. So I'm a fan of that. Uh, so great job on your setup. I am definitely a fan. One thing that I would change is probably the icon pack, but if it works for you, awesome. Uh, so yeah, that is really, really cool. Do you like the setup? Great job. Our next setup comes to us from Geo. Geo is using Nova Launcher Prime with a grid size of seven by nine. We're looking at a UCCW skin. It's a self-made skin, which is really cool. You've got the time and battery uh, on the first page. And on the second page over here, we've got the date and the day as well. We've got a couple of different icon packs here. We've got the Glyph icon pack and the Gotham icon pack, making up this grid of icons here on the home screen. And the wallpaper is also included in the description. So if you'd like that, then go ahead and check that out. Uh, but this is a very, very simple setup, but again, it's very creative at the same time in that the widget here uh, is kind of like the little shelf for the icons here. So you've got a five by three grid of icons on the first page here. Um, very, very cool uh, clock and battery level widget going on there. That's just too cool. And it works really well with this icon pack. And going over to the other screen here, you've just got your, your secondary page here. You've got your date and your day as well. So that's really cool, but very, very simple, very clean setup. Um, no icon uh, labels or anything like that. No status bar, but other than that, um, everything's very simple. No app drawer, no, no, no page indicator, nothing like that super duper clean um, and it works really well with this wallpaper here. It kind of just uh, focuses on uh, the rest of the setup. So that's really cool. I do like the selection of widgets and icons. Uh, other than that, there's not much to say. Uh, very simple setup yet very very creative and unique so i'm definitely a fan of that so very good job on your setup geo i'm a fan all right so our last setup is sent to us uh, by william he's using nova launcher prime with a grid size of 10 by 12. Uh, we've got a super widget here the typographical skin going on and the icon pack here is the zwart icon pack the wallpaper which is really cool by the way will also be listed down below in the description so if you want to check that out go ahead and grab it and the device that he's using is the Galaxy Note 5. Now this is probably one of my most favorite setups that I've seen in quite a while. I really, really like the colorway that you've got going on here. It works extremely well. Uh, number one, the wallpaper here is very simplistic. You've just got the Nike swoosh there in the middle, so that's very basic. And it's kind of like a blank canvas everywhere else to put your widgets, which you did, and your icons, which you did. Now, uh, my only concern with this setup is the fact that your icons there not, are not only on the left-hand side, but they're also up on the top. So I'm kind of questioning how you uh, access those with one hand. Maybe you have large hands, or maybe you use the device with two hands. Either way, if it works out for you, then great. Um, I was just questioning that a little bit. But other than that, it looks really, really cool. I do like how uh, the uh, icons match the widgets perfectly. Um, you've got the weather up top, the clock underneath that, and you've got your day there at the bottom. So uh, it, it's really, really nice. I'm definitely a big fan of this. It looks like you've got all the icons that you need. And if you need to add more, you've got tons of space for that. Uh, but it's not necessary that you add more icons or anything like that. Um, it's just really, really nice. And I like how it all works out. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Very simplistic setup, yet 
it works very well and it just looks so unique i've never seen a setup look like this ever um but yeah i'm, I'm definitely a big fan of this and i'll probably try something like this out on my note 5 because i'm just that big of a fan of this setup so great job on your setup uh, i saved the best for last in my opinion i like this one the best uh, but uh, go ahead and vote you guys down there in the comments vote which one you think is the best and uh, maybe in the future um in future ep episodes i'll give away prizes to the best setup so uh the person with the best setup so anyway that does it for episode number two of best android setups uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like leave your thoughts on this series what i should change uh what i should add to this series other than that that does it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that like button i think i said that already uh, yeah thank you guys for watching follow me on twitter at easy tech 231 subscribe if you haven't already i will see you guys later thanks for watching